All right. Hi, everyone. Been enjoying the face to face today. Uh, so, jumping into a, a less technical topic for uh, a little bit of fresh air here, um, you should be able to see my screen. We're going to share a little bit about the diff product managers community of practice. This should be a pretty quick update. And um, I'd also love to pose a question at the end for those who are on the line to get feedback on the kinds of topics that you're interested in having this group discuss. And let's see, Adrian, just for context, is, is Adrian on the line? If you are, feel free to jump in at any point or let me know that you're here. I can't see him at the moment. All right, no problem. Uh, well, he contributed to this deck, so he added his voice. Um, all right, so we have a product managers group. Many of you probably know or work with product professionals. It's a bit of a blend between bridging the technical to the business sides and working a lot with design as well. And so this group embraces a lot of those kind of bridging or connecting cross-pollinating qualities as we look at how do we take this really exciting technology and connect it into the world that we live in as well as the world that we wanna create. So connecting to regulation, connecting to business, connecting to ecosystems and roots of trust. Uh, those are all really big questions as we look at driving large scale adoption. And those are the kinds of questions that this group tackles. So this is an open community group. Um, we're not co-writing a draft specification or anything like that. We're creating open space for broadly defined product professionals to come together and talk about some of the issues that we're all facing in the space. And we meet, um, if you are familiar with the timing of the diff bi-weekly meeting, we, we, we meet at the same time, just on the opposite weeks. So every other Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. And again, anyone is welcome. So I mentioned a few of them, but some of the areas of focus of this group have historically included the intersection of decentralized technologies with existing technical and regulatory systems, legal systems, um, existing processes, and also human needs. So looking at um, what are both consumers and businesses looking for that they're not having their needs met with, te with technology today, and how does our technology uh, create opportunities to fill those gaps in a meaningful way? And really trying to move away from driving with a solution and instead coming back to the core needs and opportunities of the people we want to serve. Uh, part of this is looking at existing design patterns and looking at practical applications of this technology, um, including in user interfaces and user experience. So we obviously we're working on all this great tech if it's not usable to the businesses or individuals that we, we want to be able to access these wallets or these credentials but then we kind of shot ourselves in the foot. So we really need to spend some time making sure this is understandable and responsible for consuming parties. Um, and finally, uh, the group members tend to bring different shared challenges and each meeting varies depending on who's presenting or who's bringing a challenge to the table. And those can relate to design, implementation and adoption. And we often have folks bring demos to the meeting based on things that they're working on or open standards contributions that they're making. So a few examples of past discussions. We've been focused a lot lately on consent and privacy frameworks, and have had some really great presentations on those topics from different perspectives. Um, participants tend to come in from all over the globe so they can bring perspectives based on whatever privacy regulation is happening in their area, um, as well as existing research on these topics. Uh, existing, new and existing design patterns, again, how can we not reinvent the entire wheel here and instead leverage some of the existing um, UI patterns that people are used to. Uh, we've also done some breakdown of what is it, what are the pay versus play options for market adoption? And how does that vary depending on if you're doing more of a SSI direct to consumer approach versus a business to business approach? And that relates to the target personas and workflows as well, obviously. And I already mentioned that we do demos of the products that we're each working on respectively. So no two meetings tend to look the same um, and we have different folks sharing in each meeting. I have shared the link to this deck in the chat. So you're welcome to jump in here and click on any of these links to see example of the, of the running notes and agenda from the last year. Wrapping up here. So these are just a few examples of slides from different presentations in the biweekly meetings. you see here on the bottom left, this hypothetical actual relative objective was from one of our consent framework conversations and looking at how do we actually implement meaningful consent in applications. 
Um, up above that, there's what are the moments of the product experience you wish you weren't designing alone? And so you can see a little smorgasbord here. We did a interactive activity to look at some of the many different areas that participants are facing in their work. Some of those include um, organization onboarding, interoperability, performance, key management, UI templates, education, cloud wallets. We've also talked about different mental models of identity, as well as some of the gaps between the language that we use in this space on calls like these and your average lay person who's interacting with technology and, and trying not to make mistakes, but they've got a lot on their plates. So we're looking at how we can bridge that divide and reduce risk for end consumers of this technology. So great, we would love to have you or your team members join us. Uh, there's two easy steps to get involved. The first is to join the mailing list. And as soon as you do that, you'll automatically start to get updates when a meeting is coming up. And that's a good reminder to come and join us. You'll be able to see what the agenda topic is for that week. And we'd love to have you attend the next meeting in particular on the 27th. Um, we were, we're gonna spend some time in that meeting updating group goals and setting session topics for the next couple of months. So if there's a topic that you or your team would really like to discuss or bring to the table, we definitely invite you to attend. And the bonus is propose a session. We're, we're all building this collaboratively together. And so if there's something that you're really passionate about, about, please propose it to the group and put together a interactive presentation. And we would love to have you bring that, bring that to the group and get some opinion or some feedback on that. And I'm just gonna pause for a second and see if there's any chat questions. All right. Let's see, is there ever a product managers group meeting that isn't at 2 a.m. Queensland time? Uh, that's a great idea. Uh, if there are folks who are interested in running that, we could have similar to some of the other diff meetings, we could certainly have multiple of these meetings running at different times. Um, unfortunately for the time, time being, this is the time that the current group has landed on, but I know there are some folks who are calling in from, from Thailand and other places who would probably jump on the opportunity to be on a, a different schedule. So you see Belaz's comment there as well to reach out via the mailing list, please do that. Yes, yes. Um, all right, well, please feel free to speak up if you have any questions about the group. And as we have just a few more minutes here, I wanted to pose a question to those of you who are on the call, um, just to get feedback on the kinds of topic that we're, topics that we're considering. We want these to be valuable to the ecosystem and community more broadly. So what do you think are the most pressing product, product broadly defined as kind of business design, technical bridging questions that our ecosystem faces today? Things that you would really love to have this group discuss. Uh, Christian, would you like to unmute yourself and share? Yeah, I am unmuted, I think. Um, yeah, I have a, a somewhat larger topic that I keep bringing up in these different groups that I'm part of. Um, so I was a software developer and then became a lawyer. Now I'm a VC in, in the space. And so the consistent problem that I have with this particular topic is that it actually shouldn't use the moniker of identity at all, specifically not digital identity, because digital identity is a different field that people are working on This kind of the transfer, loosely said, of consciousness into the digital realm. So what we are discussing here for the most part is the implementation of legal technologies, which has to do with the transfer of rights or assets. And it's very much binary within that space, as in if it's a digitally native assets, I can achieve everything in code. If it's not, I have to provide the credentials and um, certification, authentication, verification, and so forth that um, my particular legal realm requires to then enforce that right or, or receive that asset. So larger point here is what I consistently notice with all of these events that I've been attending for years is a conflation of, of concepts that are legal and or technical in nature, and there's still no taxonomy. And so the larger point here is um, I'm trying to hurt cats from different groups. I'm part of different standards organizations and so forth who create this taxonomy. And 
a lot for a couple of people that have a technical background, but then also a couple of people that have a legal background to chime, chime in on that and then just share all those um, the, the, these vocabularies that we're using on a daily basis. Because I see in a lot of different, let's call them glossaries, like if I look back at, at Evernum, there's a consistent conflation of concepts, might be identifiers versus identity and so forth. And from our perspective as investors, we have kind of a viability framework, how we look at these solutions, and they're all not viable at that point in time, right? Because they're all kind of built on quicksand because they're, they're not actually conveying and or addressing the, the correct transfer of rights in, in the fashion that is required for a particular vertical. And so where I, at the moment, have the most quote unquote influence is within the travel industry. So I'm, I'm a board member at a um, standards organization for the travel realm, and that's used by most of the hospitality in the world. And so obviously we interface with a lot of different government agencies. Anyway, so the, so the call to action is if someone has already worked on some of the taxonomy as a useful glossary that he can, he, she can, can contribute, um, just reach out to me and hopefully we can create kind of a shared uh, depository for these, right? And then also then consistently review the GitHubs and whatnot to make, make sure that we're all working on the same thing. Right? Because there, there's a lot of urgency here, right? Um, we already made a couple of investments in the biometric field. And if and when we get this wrong, it's very likely that we're gonna get this wrong. And, and what by wrong, I mean, um, where we assign um, attribution and agency for these instruments to state actors. And needless to say, there's a couple of those that are seeking this actively. We all live in a far worse version of 1984 that George Orwell could have never met. Anyway, that, that concludes my little rant here. <laughs> Thank you, Christian. So um, I heard basically opportunities for us to reduce conflating terms by developing a clear taxonomy or glossary oh. Um, we can, I know Kalia might be on the call here as well. There's definitely been efforts in that area that we've worked yeah. on and I imagine multiple folks might be interested in that. So I would definitely invite you to at a minimum, bring yeah. that to the mailing group. Um, and we would actually love to have you bring that just as a discussion topic to the product manager group more broadly and talk about why is the word identity not serving us anymore or what are the opportunities to um, create some more clarity here and come bring your pitch and we can talk about it. Uh, I know that we're just right getting close to time here. So I just want to thank um, Casper for also your contribution, mentioning inclusivity, very important. Thank you for bringing that up. And I'll be sure to read through some of these other comments as well. Um, and you have the link here. So I invite you to sign up for the mailing list and we would love to see you in the next meeting. And I'll turn it back over to you, Blas. Yeah, thanks for going. Thanks for the presentation and the questions. Um, and with that, the next session would start, which is the special.